What requirements and what processes must be carried out to obtain the tax ID for a foreign owner of a single member LLC? Uh, there are there are two two options. Uh, three, I would say. The first one is that the person comes to the U.S. and walks to the IRS office in any city. The person will need to tell to the officer in the IRS that he needs to file a tax return. That's a key question. Why do you need a, a, a tax ID or an EIN? The officer is going to ask. Because it will, it's a line. So you are in the, doing the line. And then, and then the officer will come, like, what do you need? What do you need to uh, an EIN? If you say any other purpose, it will say, no, you don't need one. And then you will have to leave. But if you say, I need to find a tax return, they will start asking, well, do you have an LLC? I say, yes, I have an LLC and I receive a rental income. Therefore, I have to pay tax for that. Okay, yes. Then they will give you a, 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 a number and then you will go to the desk of the officer and then you will give a, a original passport. You will fill out an application, sign it. And in 30 days, 30 or 60 days, you will get your I, I team. You will need an address, better than an address in the US, they can they can mail to outside of the country, uh, outside of the US, Europe, um, or Latin America, or or Asia, or Australia. But it will be better if you have a, um, an address here in the US. That will be the first, I say, the first, the first process, the first uh, option to do the application or to apply for an IT number when you come to the US and you do personally. Now. The second option is that instead of coming to the US or, or going personally to the office, you mail all these documents uh, to the IRS. But remember, you need to mail original documents. You cannot mail uh, copies or you need to certify uh, the passport uh, by the agency that issued the passport. So you need to get a certification of the passport, not an authorization. That is not, is not allowed anymore. It needs to be a, um, a legalization. It's a document, copy of the passport that is taken to the, the, insti the institution that issue your passport. It could be the Ministry of uh, Foreign Relations or the Ministry of the Government, depends on what, what, what ministry is issuing the passports. And then the, that ministry needs to certify, legalize your passport, the copy of the passport. And you can submit that to the IRS with the rest of the documentation. There is an application form with your signature and stating why you need to apply for the passport. That's, a, that's the thing, they will always ask. And if you, you, you fill in incorrectly or select the, the incorrect choice, they will deny or reject your application. That will be the second way you can do that even from outside of the US, you mail the documents or send them through a DHL or, or to FedEx and, and uh, the IRS will return the documents to you, but the IRS will only mail documents in the USA. So be, be aware of that. Now there's a third way to do it. And this is perhaps the most popular. And this is why we help our clients. Clients uh, sent us, their original passport, it has to be original, it cannot be copied, it cannot be shown by Zoom or by uh, video conference. We have to have the original passport in our hands to take a picture or scan the document. Uh, once we have that, then we'll, it's what is called, we certify that we have seen the passport and the passport, we also review the passport and make sure the passport is original and is the person, the person that is claiming the passport is there. Uh, once we have that, we will we will request we will fill in a couple of forms, certify the passport, and we'll ask the client why why there is a need for, for why is there a need for the application of the passport. And according to that, we will advise the client to select the correct option. Therefore, the application will not be denied. <coughs> Excuse me. It will take probably 30 to 60 days. Uh, we have seen, for example, that when there is uh, when you have to pay taxes, they will give you the EIN. 
when you are selling a property, for example, and you have to pay tax, you have to file taxes with the IRS, they will also give you, but you have to have proof that you are selling the property. It's usually the closing document that need to be provided and selected a different option in the, in the, the form that is requested, the, the IT number or the tax ID, the personal tax ID. And it takes 30 days, sometimes take longer depending of the, depending of the officer uh, and the time. And also the IRS is a little, uh, let's say a little behind because of the pandemics, but it's normal that between 30 or 60 days, the application is approved. 